last but not the least the last recommendation in ngn in the y series is how to handle future network in ngn future networks are defined as the evolution of ngn over time of course it is a phenomenon that is closely tied to the past and to the legacy so what we can say is that the future networks are going to be a modified evolved or some kind of improved form of existing networks there are certain assumptions which we can safely make for instance we don't expect the networks to look totally different from the networks as we are used to today because there is a huge investment which is required to overthrow all the existing infrastructure and replace it with the new one that's the first thing the second thing is the architecture of existing networks is not rigid it is flexible enough to cater for the emerging needs over time so what we can say is that future networks are going to be a modified form but they are going to look like existing networks in their inherent design what future networks would tell us about the uh, the existing networks the difference between future networks and existing networks is going to be the kind of services which arise over time and how the network adapts to that is something that cannot be predicted right now it is highly dependent upon how the society evolves what new markets appear which markets disappear and the over overall cost of providing services to these new markets is it is it affordable so it means the markets and the corresponding costs to implement services for these markets is something futuristic in order to prepare for that certain research dimensions were taken up by the ITUT which include network virtualization network function virtualization these are the areas that we can safely put into into the category of for instance the cloud computing <clears throat> the service oriented networks and then the content based networking it is different from the traditional networking that we see today because most of the ip based networking and the layer 2 switching is based on the shortest path and it is based on the destination address but in newer markets maybe the content is so different that the delivery of the content is more important with regards to certain routes so the content based networking is going to be futuristic and since the whole world is now talking about green computing greener buildings greener networks so energy efficiency in terms of the kilowatt hour or in terms of the joules burnt per second is a concern that the researchers are now trying to explore so with these new directions we can say that the future networks are going to evolve with respect to the changing market dynamics while st staying strongly connected to the overall original designs of the ngn depending upon this vision the objectives of future networks are as per the y series recommendation service awareness based that is regardless of what service is being offered there shouldn't be a ghastly or a significant increase in the overall network infrastructure deployment requirements or you know the services should be run at optimal or affordable costs so the network deployment and operational costs have to be well bounded then the next consideration is the data awareness data awareness implies that when huge volumes of data are to be shared between different parties 
Of course, depending upon the speed which is going to be broadband, which is in fact broadband almost everywhere, the users which could be of any kind, service providers, service users, intermediaries, they should all be provided this data access with a lot of ease at high speeds their security concerns and their safety concerns should be taken care of and the quality of service which is the requirement of that particular data, particular data type has to be considered the environmental awareness is about providing low energy solutions which would result into lower manufacturing costs so this is another very important consideration then the social and economic awareness or we can join them together as those the socio-economic considerations include that the overall costs and the utility function of providing certain services has to be based on the overall genuine market requirements it should encourage fair competition and the services should be equally accessible to the end users, which could be the vendors, the individual home subscribers, the providers, and the operators. It means that when we are planning to offer services over the future networks, they have to consider all these factors.